Let's talk JavaScript. Today, let's talk about objects. Now, an object is a reference data type and can be loosely defined as an unordered collection of data consisting of primitive and or reference types. And the important thing to remember is that they are key value pairs. Left side is the key, the right side is the value of that key. If you have further questions after this video, please leave them in the comments. And also remember to check out the Mozilla Developer Network docs, specifically on object, which will be in the, des um, in the description below, as well as the GitHub. If you choose to use the GitHub, it's already set up for you. You can just clone the project, or you can follow along at code or playcode.io. It's a uh, new web browser that's uh, specifically set up for JavaScript. It's very nice to work with, has other functions as well, but I really like it for JavaScript. But bear with, I am still getting used to it. So let's get started. How do we create an object? Well, we can say const and name it. In this case, we're going to use school and then equal and curly braces. The curly braces are what distinguish the object from the array. The array, of course, is in square brackets, and I will be doing a video for that shortly. So we have key value pair. So it's a key and then a value. Now, in this case, let's see. Let me enlarge this just a little bit for you. There we go. So in this case, we're going to do, first we're going to do a name. And the important thing to remember about objects, besides the key value pair, the key and the value, unless it's a number or a function, you will use the double quotes on both sides. So we have name and double quotes, colon, and we'll use Caltech. Now we use the comma to separate each of the key value pairs. And let's do location. We'll say the location, of course, is California. And remember I said we can have many different data types. In fact, all the different data types, including a function. And functions are really great to be able to use inside of an array. So let's make a function. We're going to call this display info. And you write it just like a regular function. You say function, your uh, parentheses, followed by curly braces. And we're just going to say console.log. Now we're going to use the ES6 uh, syntax using the tick mark so that we can use the uh, features included with ES6, specifically how we interpolate the string. And we're going to say the school name is, and to get that interpolation dollar sign curly braces, and then we're going to put in our name. Now we're going to skip this for a second and say and is located in, and we'll do the same thing. Now we're going to fix that in a moment. There are two ways to access the information. One is called, let me put it right here, the dot notation. And this uses a dot, like it says. The other is the array notation with uh, that uses square brackets. So we're going to use them both here. We're going to use dot notation first. So for dot notation, it's the name of the object dot the key you want to access. So in this case, school dot name. So the name of the school is and is it, let's say I guess that would be right. It is located in and here we want the location. We're going to use an array method style here where we say school, square bracket, quotes, location. 
Now, I am getting an error related to my console log. Not sure why. Let's check this. Let's Okay, there's our curly brackets, and we will paste in our console log. It's like, ah, my fault. Notice it's on shin. There we go. Now all is right in the neighborhood. So we have three different key value pairs inside of our object name school. We have name, location, and display information. Now let's look at how we can get the information or get new information and put it in. So if you're familiar with an array, you might uh, have like you know, the dot push. It's not going to work here. But we can use our dot notation. So let's say we're going to add school and we want to add the zone which would be say the time zone so we use school dot zone this is what we want is equal to and pacific now you're saying wait a minute zach nothing is showing up remember we are using javascript and we do need a console log to access and review that information there it is so notice as we console log our object, name, location, display information, and zone. Now the zone is the one that we just added. We can also add using the array style method. Let's add one for uh, weather. And we will call it sunny. And notice there's our new key value pair. It's important to understand you can use the dot notation as you choose or the array method. However, if the name, your key name, has a space, so let's say weather outlook, you must use the array square bracket. This is not good practice, but if it does happen, you need to use the square bracket. If we tried to use school dot and we want to be able to see it of course when we say weather outlook notice we get all kinds of errors and it's because of that space so if you have a space use the array method with the square brackets okay great now we have added information let's go ahead and add one more let's say school dot student count so if you were going to have two words uh, pascal casing is the best option of course you can also use camel casing or the snake casing as well and we'll just put in a number 543 because it's an integer it does not need double quotes unless it's looking good down there now how do we get rid of something how do we delete it it's very simple we can say delete and what do we want to delete let's delete first let's delete the school zone notice it's gone and we can also use the array method as well and say school weather outlook notice it is gone so let's talk about briefly what we have learned we've created a simple object with key value pairs including a function we can use dot notation or array notation to access each of the keys and provide their value inside we have added new key value pairs and we have deleted the ones that were there now let's look at how we can get to this it's simple we use the same dot notation school dot display info 
And because it's a function, we do need to invoke it here with the parentheses. And there it is. The school name is Caltech, and it is located in California. And before you ask, yes, you can, oops, we want school dot, nope, array, parenthesis, um, array, square bracket, then quote, display, info. And once again, we still need to invoke it. And there it is as well. How can you loop through your object? Now, arrays have object, uh, excuse me, arrays have looping methods, but because an object is an unordered list, it does not always have to appear in order that it was entered. And because of that, we have different methods to get a hold of them. Two simple ways. Uh, yes, two simple ways are a four and a four each. But in order to understand those, we need to look at how we can separate and display key value information inside an object. And that comes with the object dot keys method. We have two more that I want to look at. Object dot values and object dot entries. Now there are a lot more object uh, methods if you go to the Mozilla docs. These are three that are particularly interesting for your learning. So let's create a constant and we'll just call this obj keys. And we're going to access that information by using object, and notice it's a capital O, dot keys. And this will give us the keys of the object we are wanting to look at. So in this case, it's school. And now let's come down here. Let's console log obj keys. And notice we get name, location, display information, and student count. That is the keys of our object. We can do the same thing with values, const obj values. And once again, we want the school object and we want console log obj values. Now this time we're getting only the values, Caltech California function called display info and our student number of 543. And then we have const obj entries which will provide the entries or the combination of keys and values. So let's look at this real quick. OBJ entries. And notice we have the, um, come on, there we go. We have the first key value pair in an array. We have in a second object from the object of school, we have the second array of location and California, the display info and the function, and finally our student count and the pair value there, 543. Now we can consider how we can loop through the information or and there are two ways, like I said, that are easy to use. First, we'll do for. And inside a for loop, of course, we say we have our constraints. We say let the array, because remember, we are going to use this entries, or we could just use um, the values in keys or values. But in this case, we want to pair them up. So we can say keys and values, 
or we can say key and value. We can say Fred and Wilma. It doesn't matter. These are just ways to uh, provide the left and the right. And so we want the key and value of object. So this is written exactly like we did before. Entries. And we want the school. Then we will do our curly brackets. And inside we'll just console log. And we'll use our tick marks so that we can use the JavaScript interpolation strings here. And we'll just write it like we would normally see them. Key on the left side, so we want the key, which is key. If we had called this Fred and Wilma, this would be Fred, but we'll call it key and value. And if we had done the example before of Fred and Wilma, this would be Wilma. Notice we are getting a print name and Caltech, so our key and our value of each one. And this does spit out the function as it's written. One other way is to say, let's get the values. So we can say obj values dot for each so that this is our looping method. And here we're just going to loop through the data and we'll use an arrow function. And once again, we'll console log and we'll use our ticks. And let's say that we call this data. And the reason is it's just going to give us something to look at to kind of categorize it and say data. Once again, we get the static data with the data of each value, because we're using the values. So this is just a marker. And here we're getting the value of each for each key value pair in the object. So I hope this helps you understand objects just a little bit more and makes it a little easier for you to work with. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, share, and thanks for listening. Happy coding.